CataractCoach.com. We have a cataract quiz. What's wrong with this IOL and how do you fix it? And we have a guest surgeon, Dr. Sara Patwardhan from India. So here's the case. Nucleus came out beautifully. We have a nice capsular excess cleaning up the lens cortex. Nice empty capsular bag. So I'm going to inflate the capsular bag with our viscoelastic. This looks like HPMC, which is hydroxyl propyl methylcellulose. And now it's time for the IOL. Now this patient's getting an IOL that we don't have available in the U.S. This is a single piece lens with four haptics and a multifocal optic being placed in the injector here. There we go. And this will be placed into the capsule bag. And again, up until this point, totally normal case, normal zonules, normal everything. So there's the injector with the eye well loaded up inside. Little fixation of the eye through the side port using that uh, second instrument. And delivering the lens in the bag. And look carefully, what do you think? Hmm, interesting. Now the surgeon pauses for a moment, looks around a little bit. And look what happens next. Now the surgeon says, well, he needs to do something different. And at this point, it's going to put more viscoelastic in the eye, above the eye well, and also behind the eye well optic. And the reason is, this eye well is upside down in the eye. It got flipped. So expanding the capsule bag is a key technique here. You have to protect the posterior capsule, and the more you expand it, the more room you give yourself. And I wanted to show you this video because Dr. Sarab here has a beautiful technique for flipping the eye well inside the eye. He is a master. So using the two instruments, lifting one edge of the eye well with the right hand, then the left hand pushes and brings the eye well around, and now it's completely flipped over. Now, fortunately, this lens is relatively soft and pliable, and the surgeon can do this all within the eye. No issues at all. Case are great. And again, this small thing of putting the eye well in the eye upside down has to be addressed. It does change the optics. This lens in particular has a vault to it. And so you want the lens in the eye in the correct orientation. And so now just making sure all four haptics go within the capsule bag and underneath the rexus, and that looks ideal. Patient had a beautiful outcome, beautiful result. So very important when you load your lenses, be very careful, be cognizant. You know, with our typical design and with two haptics on IOL, most IOLs, that makes it very easy to see the orientation. Remember, we want the Z orientation. The S orientation is wrong. S is for a stupid mistake or silly mistake. In this lens with the four haptics, it's much harder to decide, is it in the eye correctly? Dr. Sarab had a beautiful um, uh, in inclination to flip this, and he was correct. This lens looks beautiful now. Try this technique if you ever get in the jam. Something nice to have in your back pocket, just in case. Remember, the key of the whole case was injecting more viscoelastic to really inflate the capsule bag to give you more working room. Submit your video. Go to cataractcoach.com. Click on the link there. We would love to feature any video that you have. A case like this would be beautiful, or if you have a worse complication, you can even submit it anonymously. Thanks for watching.